Dusty had a little boo-boo, guys. I end up scraping the crap out of my lip. Like, it's not that bad, but bro, when I heard the scrape, I thought I ripped off the whole lip. It's crazy, but yet, yeah, Dusty still look good. But yours, Pop and Playboys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying to figure out some stuff about with Dusty. Um, just to give you guys an update on everything that's going on. Uh, I am going turbo and FedEx does have my kit, but we're, uh, I've been talking to Max Speed and he, uh, we're figuring out what we're gonna do. So I'm not gonna say too much on that, but yeah, man, just know that Dusty is going turbo soon and it's gonna be nice, fun experience. I'm gonna document everything and show you guys exactly how you do it. Uh, hopefully me and Abe could knock it out in at least two days. And he said he could knock it out in four hours. So yeah, if he could do that, he could do that, bro. Cause, uh, that's crazy uh obviously i have stuff prepared for the kit and all that stuff to make this install pretty easy um i have my old pan already tapped i have a whole bunch of supporting mods inside turbo oil feed uh cooling lines everything bro the whole nine yards but yeah in today's video um i'm gonna fix a little issue that i noticed with the not the hasport the innovative mount kits um uh, i'm gonna show you guys real quick all right so i don't know if you guys can notice but in person the motor is slanted on a on the transmission side um i don't know why i just think it's like the in, innovative mounts that's doing that because on stock mounts the motor is perfectly you know aligned and straight but as soon as i put these mounts in i noticed that this side of the motor is sitting lower than this side so what i'm going to do um i still have some washers i still have some stainless steel or I don't even know what this is, but I know it's some thick washers and it's not aluminum, so I'm not risking it. It's not gonna bend and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert these washers under here to lift up the mount and actually there's one more bolt that's behind the fuse box, I mean, behind the ECU. And I'm gonna put these washers underneath the bolt to see if I can level out the motor. Just a tad bit, cause I really don't like the way it look. It looks weird to me. And I don't know why Innovative didn't think about that. Like, why they made the mount, not the mount, but the bracket so damn thin. Because if you look at your stock mount, because if you look at your stock mount, uh, your stock transmission mount, it's pretty bulky. Like, like the mount of, uh, like, I don't know how to explain. Like, the bracket itself is pretty bulky. So, I don't know what Innovative thought by making it so thin that it's uneven. But... Yeah, I'm going to try to fix it. Also, one thing I did recently find out is that Innovative was supposed to send me these uh, spacers that you put in your uh, side mount to keep it, like, leveled and stuff. And I never got that. I don't, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to get it for the trans mount, too. And I never got that. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to DIY it. A DUI it. Oh, whoa, not DUI. That's a, that's a bad thing. But I guess I'm going to DIY it and uh, figure out myself and try my best to get this motor leveled out because I really don't like that. And I'm pretty sure it's feeling a little bit more stress on the action. Don't quit. Alright guys, so time flew by. Uh, ended up taking off the intake moving the ECU out the way. Took out the first bolt, which is right there. And now I'm gonna take out the last two and uh, mount those washers underneath. And hopefully it does something to the motor. Well, levels it out. But yeah, um, pretty simple, bro. And then I'm gonna go after, after I uh, take these bolts out and install, install them with the washers. I'm gonna take the car for a little drive. Get a couple pulls in before, you know, I never get to experience all motor again because I already know once I go turbo, I ain't no way I'm going back. All right, guys, so I've been playing with the mount and like moving it side to side, trying to see if I could like get it to sit a little bit higher before I like bolt it in because um, this is a pretty big like circle for you to stick your bolt in. Pause. So, um, I that's ah, damn, I just hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm trying to see if that's. Bro, I'm having the biggest tongue tie right now. I'm trying to see if that hole, well not the hole, but I'm trying to see the way I lined it up when I installed the transmission mount affected how the whole motor sat. Um, 
because those holes well because that top bolt hole has so much uh like space that you're able to slide it up a little bit more and still be able to thread it in the boat i think what my problem was is that i had it like i don't know probably will slid down too much and the mount was probably tightened already so i just had to screw it and just tighten everything so right now what i did is that i unloosen make sure i don't break nothing i unloosen the mount itself if it focused there you go and i was able to like swivel that bracket up a little bit more this bracket right here that's for the mount if it focuses on it there you go yeah i was able to swivel that up a little bit more so as you guys can see it does sit a little bit higher i'm gonna try to see if i could thread that bolt in and see how the motor like sits um from what i'm seeing i even have my my you know cheap little level on it and uh the iphone saying that it's leveled so i'm gonna give it a shot if it's not that then i'm just gonna put the washers in and uh hope for the best but yeah i think the motor is level now to be honest it looks looks way better five minutes later all right guys so it turned out i did need to use the washers i realized when i was boarding everything up that underneath where the bolts supposed to go that it had a slight little gap so i was like let me just insert the, the washers there and uh hopefully it levels it out um from what i'm seeing the motor does look level but then again this like the the surface i'm working on is not too stable not stable but it's not too level so like this side sits i think lower but from looking from it like looking at the car from right here and trying to line this up with this it it looks pretty straight like the motor looks straight especially back here like even when i did install the mount i noticed it immediately that this side was lower when the car was in the air but from right here it doesn't look bad i mean it could be off a slightly like slightly a little bit but i don't want it to be too off because that's just it just looks it just looks weird and i feel like it does something to the car which it probably doesn't i did have a couple people hit me up asking me if my motor sat a little slanted and i was like yeah it does we're gonna figure out something to fix it and there, there was my solution get some stainless steel washers the strongest washers you could find i bought mine at uh o'reilly no not what was it ace is the place so ace hardware that's where i bought my washers um i think they're like a dollar each so i paid like four dollars for for four washers i don't remember how much i paid to be honest with you bro but yeah just go there bro ask them for your the strongest stainless steel washer don't get some don't get something small get something big i think the washers that i use are like 20 millimeters so get a 20 or 19 so it could be you know pretty big to cover that area you feel me so yeah um now i'm gonna figure out what else is making noises on my car i mean the mount wasn't making noise but i do hear noises all the time and i don't know what it is it might be an end link that i didn't tie in when i did my clutch but i don't know i only only hear it when i go for bumps and i hope it's not my suspension because i don't feel like doing coils and i don't even have money to go swap out new coils so yeah let me pop off this wheel and uh expect to see what's going on down there yeah So what I'm thinking it is, is something along the lines of an end link, cause like, I be hearing stuff like that. I don't know if my end link is just shot or it needs to be tightened more, but I used to have problems with my end link making noises. And these are the end links that came with the Rev9 coils. So I can't really explain to you what I'm actually hearing all the time. It just, it's just a loud, not even a loud pop, well, kind of loud. It's like a pop every time. And I know it's not these, but I really think it's this. So I'm just gonna tighten this more. Like, make sure it's super tight that it doesn't move. And uh, go for a little drive, and hopefully, I stop hearing that noise. All right, guys, so I tighten the end link. There's no more like noises now, <clears throat> no matter how hard I push it. Um, I know I can't, you know, replicate the force of a car, but yeah, 
the fact that I was able to just shake it with my hand and it was making noise tells me a lot. So hopefully that was the issue. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why, I feel like it's not the issue and it's something over here inside the engine bay. But honestly, I can't I can't figure it out. Honestly, can't. I I checked my motor mouth. I bent, I bent hard lines. I I did everything, bro. So what what can it be? Like I uh, I don't know. But if it's not that, bro, if it's not the end link, then I'm going to start looking over here in the engine bay, engine bay and uh hopefully I can find it. Cause I didn't really touch nothing over here. So what the hell was making that? Yo, why am I this dark? Come on, dog. Don't do me like that. Yo, there we go. But yeah, I I can't figure out what it is. So fingers crossed. That is the end link. All right, guys. So car's back on the floor. And to be honest, I do think I kind of fixed it. It still looked kind of slanted, but not as much as it was before. Like before, you was able to tell like, yo, your motor is slanted, bro. But now it's like, oh, is your motor slanted? Boy, if you don't. I think it's all right. Also, I don't know. It might not even be slanted anymore. I am on like a slight little incline. Like this side of the car is more down. So I need to find somewhere flat to actually look at the engine. But to be honest, I don't think it's that slanted or even slanted at all anymore. But everything looks good. Um, didn't go for a drive yet. So let's go do it now, man. Let's see if I fix that popping noise I kept hearing. Fingers crossed because I hate noises, bro. Like, I hate metal on metal noises and pinging noises. Like, that's gotta be the worst thing you ever hear when you're driving your car. That's how I don't know how you static people, you static guys, always drive your car slammed to the floor. I mean, it's cool, I love it. Like, do you, be different, but damn, bro, how y'all do that? Like, y'all don't get tired of hearing everything scrape and stuff smacking pavement and... <sighs> hey, I got some, y'all got some big balls, pause. What did he say? Hey. So I wonder if me installing those uh, washers will make my car stop any different. Nope, still feels the same. Damn, she sound good, boy. She sound so damn good. this car so much like I would never get rid of this car it's crazy how much like time and effort I put in this car and just to see it in front of me like it's crazy bro just like how I envision it like everything just falling in line slowly but surely but yeah man this is where I'm gonna end off the video if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on Instagram head to my website support the channel www.zubigarage.bigcartel.com it's going to be in the description if you guys do want to go purchase something or you guys can go check it out whatever you do just try to support me anyway because i'm trying to support y'all too but yeah man your boy's out peace